Hello guys, I'm Urban Fox Gamer, and today I'll be showing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to use the Paint Pocket tool properly. Because we always have that problem when you we are using it for like coloring. So as you can see for my example here, it has that problem, the jaggy edge. Of course, we do this just to situate the problem. Let's color it. Oops. I have that. I have, I have that thing, the ugly thing that we have. Um, we have two ways. Like normally, we do color it in. It's tedious, and of course, we do it sometimes double clicking the paint pocket tool so everything gets selected. But of course, it leaves that very ugly, uh, uh bleeding thing going on. Sometimes it always um. Well, sometimes it does bleed outside of the outline. So, to fix that, uh, we have two methods. This is method one. Of course, let's go, our, let's go to our outline. Make sure that your outline is closed. There's no open lines. So, our magic wand works. So, here's the magic wand. You can see the magic wand. Right click here, which is always the default is quick selection tool. Magic wand tool. Select our area that we want to color. Go to our color uh, layer. Now we go to select modify expand. One to three pixels is my value, but two is my sweet spot. Now hit OK. As you can see, the the section grew a little bit bigger, of course, by two pixels. Now we can now use the paint pocket tool. Much more cleaner as you can see. Of course, there are errors, but that is very minimal. Let's just brush it up. So that's with the paint pocket tool. Let's just say um, you are coloring coloring it like so. Magic wand. Um, let's expand. By the way, I, I hotkey my expand selection so make to make it faster. I'm gonna teach you how to do that later. So as you can see here, despite that we expanded our selection and use the paint pocket tool, it has it has that problem still. So that that this is method two. Let's use this character for method two. So this is what you usually do, probably. So we color kind of like the magic one tool um, section. Let's just select uh, areas that we want to color. So I'm going to make an outline, very rough outline. Make sure there there are no open lines. Make the magic one tool work. So magic one W. Select that, expand, two pixels. Now we're going to go to edit, fill, and make sure that you use foreground color because this is the default content aware. And you click here and choose foreground, foreground color. Hit OK, Control D to deselect, and there you go. Of course, my coloring is not that good. So of course, make sure that your color, your coloring outline is clean. So let's clean it a little bit, or you can clean it up after. Again, again, as a review, I made an outline, color outline. I use W to magic one my selection. Ctrl Alt X to expand selection or again go to select modified expand. Hit OK. Now shift F5 for fill or go to edit and fill. Make sure your foreground color is selected and hit OK. Ctrl D to deselect and as you can see that is a quick and easy way to color your outline. 
now make things a little bit more faster than just go click with uh let's just say again select modify uh, modify and stuff like that uh, select modify and expand that's very time consuming so let's use shortcut keys let's go to edit keyboard shortcuts now go to select modify and look for expand as you can see i already set mine to alt control x so let me delete that for tutorial's sake so it's going to look like this so click on here hit control alt x or the keys that you wanted for expand to work um control x is cut so don't go control x and the reason why i use control x is because it sounds like x expand uh, something like that so it's easy to remember whenever you are happy with the, the keyboard binding that you want hit accept hit ok and that's pretty much it so again for method 2 just a review we made an outline outline step 1 is outline 2 is 1 which is W 3 is expand expand selection so that's alt alt, alt control X plus alt control X expand and number 4 is fill which is shift F5 as the default and of course whenever you are happy D select which is control D so method 2 is foolproof method 1 is the standard if you want to do it quick and easy so that's pretty much it guys if you like this tutorial give it a like if if you want to share this to your buddies please do it really does help the channel grow so this is urban fox gamer signing out